I'm a surgical oncologist who specializes in stomach cancer and I have always been frustrated at the fact that patients are coming to me when it's already very late in their cancer. Comparatively, you know, a lot of patients are coming in when they're already stage four, they're stage three, and I know for a fact that if you come in at an early stage, number one, we can cure you, or even better, if we find it really early, we could even prevent it. So that's how I really came up with this study design, especially because um, in other parts of, parts of the world, we're actually, you know, they're screening for stomach cancer. In the United States, we're not screening for stomach cancer. We really need to figure out a way to screen for stomach cancer. But the only way to really do that is to justify it in the United States, really. Um, you need to develop evidence around it. And so this was my study to start to build up the evidence to screen for gastric cancer. So this study utilized the fact that people are undergoing colonoscopies in the United States for screening. And so what would happen if we added on an endoscopy at that time? So this pilot study enrolled 50 patients to do that. And we found that adding on endoscopies was very easy to do. It didn't cause any complications. Um, it only added on 17 minutes to the whole procedure. And patients really appreciated it. Um, when we asked them, you know, would you actually recommend it to your family? Would you keep on doing it? Nearly all of them said yes. Um, currently, t for today's presentation, you know, I brought the results of our acceptability, feasibility, and found that it was acceptable. Um, the next conference, um, we're going to be presenting our results of what we actually found with the 50 patients. And effectively, what we found was that in the high risk population, um, which is a large proportion in the United States, you know, this includes people who are of, you know, a non-white ethnicity, if you're an immigrant from a high-risk country, or if you have a family history of gastric cancer, you're at a risk, um, you have risk of having all these pre-malignant lesions, you're at higher risk for gastric cancer. Um, and in that population, we're finding that there are precancerous lesions that are being detected um, almost a quarter of the patients had something that would need surveillance or something done. If you include the fact that patients also could have Helicobacter pylori, which is one of the major risk factors for developing gastric cancer, for the high-risk population, we're finding that about 50% of the patients have it. Um, those results we're going to be presenting at DDW, um, and um, you know, I, I hope that um, you keep on showing interest in the study. Yeah. My understanding is in, in other countries, Japan for example, mm -hmm. they do screen earlier. Correct. Of course, early detection can save right. lives. Why don't we? Yeah, so Korea and Japan currently have national screening that's very similar to how we think about colonoscopy screening, where you hit a certain age and from then on you get routine endoscopies, insurance covers it, the government covers it. We're not doing it in the United States because when you look at the general population, AKA, you know, we're a very heterogeneous population, right? And so when you look at it as an aggregate, gastric cancer seemingly seems like a rare problem. And so from a public policy perspective, they're saying, oh, you know, it, maybe it's not common enough. Once you start looking at, however, the high-risk population, once you start to narrow it down a little bit to people who might have, you know, actually be at risk, actually the rate, rates are actually quite high. Um, you're talking about double the rates of gastric cancer in all of the minority populations. And when you get to some of the more, you know, Asian populations, you're talking double, triple, you know, even upwards of 10, 10 times the general population for those populations. So a bit of, it's a bit of awareness, um, I think is also a big problem. So I think we really need to advocate for it. We need more studies like this. We need more people interested in gastric cancer studies as well, um, so that we can really develop the evidence and create the guidelines so that public policy and insurance will all allow this to happen.